Hey there, listeners. Today I'm diving into a topic that's been missed like the breeze, literally. We're talking about the windmills in Jamaica and whether they're really benefiting the island. So, let's spin into it. Jamaica, known for its vibrant culture and beautiful landscapes, is also making waves in renewable energy. The country seems to be tackling its energy needs with a mix of traditional and renewable sources, and wind power should be a significant part of this shift. Now, zooming in on the key players, one can't miss the Wigton Wind Farm. Situated in Manchester Parish, Wigton has been operational since 2004 and is the largest wind energy facility in the English-speaking Caribbean. With an installed capacity of 62.7 MW, it can contribute a substantial chunk to Jamaica's energy mix, but does it? These numbers are impressive, and there are the Monroe Farms in St. Elizabeth too. But what does this mean for Jamaica? Economically, the windmills are a game changer, but there is an air of silence. By reducing reliance on imported fossil fuels, Jamaica should be saving millions of dollars annually. This is crucial for an island nation where fuel import costs can be a heavy burden on the economy. Then, there's the environmental aspect. Wind energy is clean and sustainable. Wigton Wind Farm alone is said to offset around 60,000 tons of CO2 emissions each year. That's the equivalent of planting over a million trees annually. This significant reduction in greenhouse gases is a step forward in combating climate change, something that affects island nations profoundly. But it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges too. Wind energy, while beneficial, is intermittent. The wind doesn't blow consistently, and this can affect the stability of energy supply. To mitigate this, Jamaica is exploring a balanced energy mix that includes other renewables like solar and hydropower. Moreover, the initial investment costs for wind farms can be high. However, with international partnerships and funding, Jamaica has managed to get significant support to develop its renewable energy infrastructure. So, are windmills benefiting Jamaica? The answer is a resounding yes. Can anyone point out how? They are reducing fuel import costs, cutting down on greenhouse gas emissions, and contributing to a more sustainable energy future. While challenges remain, the benefits are clear, and with ongoing investments and technological advancements, Jamaica's wind energy sector is poised for growth. That's the lowdown on Jamaica's windmills. If you found this insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth energy discussions. Until next time, keep those turbines turning.